Um, and so, yeah, it was only in, in the last few years that, that we studied mathematically, and in, particularly in, in, um, in the last four or five years, that we actually have mathematical explanations as to why it works, even when you uh, that uh, it, it works um, even when you take just barely more measurements than 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 um, than the compressed size of the data. That, that it, it works, in fact, almost as, as as good as it could possibly uh, possibly hope for. Okay. So. Um, yeah, so we, we now have lots of, 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 of good mathematical results that justify um, this empirical um, observation that this thing just works. Uh, here is a very typical result. Um, suppose you, you, uh, you have an S-sparse signal, a uh, time series, again, from 1 to n. It's S-sparse. S is much less than n. Uh, and you take m, m random Fourier coefficients. You just pick some random frequencies and you just measure, you know, um, uh, one frequency and one... Uh, you just measure a whole bunch of Fourier coefficients. Um, and it's important that you choose it randomly, uh, because if you, if you choose the Fourier coefficients in, in a stupid way, uh, you can actually miss the entire signal um, and, and, and not be able to do recovery. But if you do them randomly, then, you can, then uh, it works very well. Um, the reason for this is similar to, you may have heard, heard of Monte Carlo integration. If you have a, a function that you want to integrate, you want to find its area, one way to do it is that you just take a few measurements, a few random points um, in, in um, uh, in X, and you just sort of take the average of, of a few random points, and this, this will give you some m estimate of, 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 of the total integral. And it, as long as you choose those points randomly, uh, that's the Monte Carlo method, uh, named after the casinos in, Monte Carlo, in Monaco. But um, then, uh, then that will work very well. But if you, if you pick, uh, but if you don't pick randomly, if you pick, if you pick very biased data, then it, then it can work. It, it doesn't work at all. Um, but anyway, if you pick frequencies very randomly, and you take these limited, me you take these Fourier measurements. And then you apply this L1 algorithm. It turns out that uh, this L1 algorithm will, in fact, almost always, like 99% of the time, will recover back your original signal exactly, um, as long as you take enough measurements. So the number of measurements you need m has to be bigger than the sparsity s times a constant, which is like 12 um, times the log of n, which is, in, in fact, is not, not so not so bad. Um, so m just has to be a bit bigger than s. Uh, that's a theoretical result. Numerical experiments say that, in fact, you just need m to be bigger than about four times s. But we, we can't prove that. We have like 12s log n is what we have, uh, theoretically. But 4s is what happens in practice. So uh, just to give you an example, um, well, OK. Well, it, it's, it's not, uh, I mean, the, the example is, uh, is, well, OK, we have the signal here. You take its Fourier measurements. Uh, if you apply least squares, you get back this thing. If you, um, if you, if you do a one minimization, uh, what happens actually is that it's, it, you, you reconstruct the, ex the exact same image. This, this image is in fact ex identical to this one here. Um, that, uh, so that, that's, that, that's, that's what that is. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Uh, gee, I guess I'm not, I'm not, I should move a bit faster. Um, all right, there's some other things. Maybe I'll skip that. Um, should maybe. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, so, okay, so um, rather than give you all the results, let me just say that um, 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 this type of thing is not restricted just to Fourier measurements. Uh, we, we now have actually a very general theory that says that if you take any sort of linear measurements um, and you have sparse data, you can reconstruct the, um, uh, the signal from your measurements as long as your measurement matrix is somehow um, uh, the, the, one, the one feature that measurement matrix has to have is it has to sort of mix up all the co it has to mix up all the uh, the um, the um, um, uh, all the all, all the all the basis vectors of, of your data together. Um, like so one thing that, that doesn't work. So suppose you have sparse data. Okay, uh, so there's only a, a few non-zero entries. So if you sample some of the entries at random, if it's, if it's sparse data, if, then if you pick an entry at random, you mostly get zero. So if if you, if you are sampling using the identity matrix. Uh, if you're sampling using, using um, um, the basis itself, you normally get zero and you, you don't reconstruct anything. You, ha you have to choose um, a, um, a, a very different measurement matrix which, which mixes together all, um, all the different co uh, coefficients. So um, the, the um, Fourier transforms are a good example of this. Every Fourier measurement mixes, uh, combines together all of, um, all of the, um, the coefficients of your, of your data together. And it's, it's important that you have this mixing property. And there's a specific, uh, there's a specific uh, ver um, uh, version of this um, 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 property called what we call the restricted isometry property. So I told you before that um, 
in order to, for compressing to, to work, you need every two S columns to be um, independent. Um, the restricted isometry property, which has a very unfortunate uh, acronym, which is now <laughs> standard. But uh, yeah, the RIP is, um, is that if, if you, uh, you, you ask not just that every two S columns are orthogonal, but every four S, as it turns out, every four S columns are, so are independent, but every four S columns are more than independent, that they're almost um, an orthonormal basis, uh, that, uh, that they're almost at right angles to each other. Um, and th there's a specific uh, 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 description of this in terms of singular values. But if, if, you, are, if, you, if you make a, a, a stronger assumption, uh, then uh, compressed sensing works, is, is the basic uh, punchline. Um, and what we found is that, is that many, many measurement ensembles obey this RIP. The Fourier measurement ensemble does the, and various random matrix ensembles do. Okay. So um, the, the key is that you have, you have to take very, very jumbled up, very random looking measurements, uh, which, which is very unintuitive. You have to take measurements that at first glance don't look anything like, like your original um, uh, basis. Um, Okay, so um, this one actually, I'll, I'll pause and show you some pictures uh, before I go on. Um, so this, 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 this algorithm has actually been put into, into practice by some, some other, um, uh, another group. So I'm, I stole these slides from, from the website of, of, uh, of, uh, of these people at Rice. Oops. Um, but yeah, so the, the, um, as I said, there are applications to imaging. Um, and so people, some people have actually uh, gone ahead and built a compressed sensing camera, which is what they call a single pixel camera. So let me just show you, uh, skip ahead to um, the, uh, the, the, the camera. So uh, what they do is that um, um, compressed sensing tells us that if you want to reconstruct an image, use an image here, you need to take some sort of, ra you take a whole bunch of random measurements. Um, it doesn't have to have Fourier, but some sort of random measurement of, of your, of, of your um, image, and that should be enough to, to reconstruct the image. So what they do is that they take the image, they, they focus it um, through an LCD mask. Okay, so they, they bounce it off, they, they, they pass it through um, a mask of, of, um, of LCD, um, uh, a square of LCD array, which, uh, which some squares can, are, are clear, light goes through, and some, and some squares are, 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 are black, that are opaque. And uh, you can electronically change which ones to be, to be black, which ones to be, to be white. So this is this, to be clear. This is, this is the, the beauty of LCDs, that you can do this very quickly. So um, you're taking a mask, and you only, so you're basically taking some, some random fraction of your, of your signal. This is like a, like a matrix with random zeros and ones. And then you pass that through a lens, and you take a single pixel. There's a single photo detector. So normally cameras have a million photo detectors to get a million pixels. You just take a single pixel. You measure this, you, you, you convert it, you take an ADD, uh, analog, analog digital converter, you, you get a number out of it. Um, and so, um, and then you, so for every mask, you, you keep changing the mask one million times, you can do that, or 10,000 times, you can do that in a, in a second. Um, you get these, these, these um, 10,000 numbers, and then you reconstruct the image um, using this L1 minimization algorithm, and you reconstruct an image. Um, yeah, so you have these, 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 these 10,000 random masks, okay? Um, this is actually what it looks like in, um, uh, in, in practice. So, I mean, it's a prototype, so it doesn't look like the camera that you have, you know, in your pocket, but it's, uh, okay, but it, it is a camera. Um, and uh, this was the very first image that they took. Uh, so the, the actual image was this, this, this R. They, 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 um, they took 11,000 measurements, and uh, they got something which was, you know, a little bit grainy, but you can def definitely see the structure here, okay. If you t so here they only took 16% of, of, of all the pixels, and you could still reconstruct a reasonable image. If you take only 2% of the measurements, uh, then of course the image quality is a lot worse, but this is only now a kilobyte of, of data, and you can still reconstruct the image. Um, 